Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here. Welcome back to The Witcher. Uh, as I mentioned last time, we are going to head to uh, Vasca right now and see what she can tell us about the Salamandra. This is good because we need to get a bunch of Kikamores for something. Here we go. Uh, collect the claws of 10 Kikamores for Valorad. And let's actually check out if they have any weaknesses here. Sensitive to silver and insectoid oil, which I do not have. Uh, during combat, warriors spit acid, blinding their opponents, causing crippling pain. Oh, great. Most effect, including blinding. Resistant to knockdown. Uh-oh. This These could be tough. Okay, let me use this little, uh... Where is it? There we go. Resistance to acid and acid-based potions. And then let's get some, uh... What do we want to do here? Albedo, Negrito. Let's do this one. So we got lots going on here. We have Endurance re Regen, we've got Acid Resistance, uh, the Axie Sign increased by 50%. Uh, reduces toxicity of consumed potions and vitality. So here we go. I wonder. I don't know if I can set these things on fire. Where'd they go? Let's find this thing. See what we're messing with. Jeez, they're not messing around. Okay, actually not bad. Not bad. I was kind of, kind of expecting worse. Oh, nothing from these guys? I have the bestiary for them. Venom glands and toxins. Wait a second here. I need to bring... Ten... Okay, I have to collect the claws. So I'm thinking maybe I don't have the I don't have the right stuff for these. So it's probably not worth my while to get all like crazy about it. Because realistically, I'm not going to be able to harvest the things that I want to. So on the way to Vasca, I am going to try to take as many of the plants as I can because some of my alchemy stuff was running a bit low. And I'm sure I'm going to have to fight some more stuff on the way, but... Maybe even more Kikamores. But I'll have to find a book, or maybe Vasca can tell me, or who knows. But we'll find something, potentially. Whoa! Eat it! Oh, these things are awesome! Oh my god. Let's see what he's got here. Venom glands. That's pretty interesting. Oh, these things never get old. Let's just scoop them up. But yeah, I'm gonna have to find a bestiary entry in a book, I'm assuming, from someone. Here's some Fenoed. Oh god. Thank god for that poison resistance. <laughs> oh man, these things are actually really fun to fight.
All right. Now we're on a path here, so we can head down to Vasca in a an orderly manner. Which reminds me, just saying orderly manner, at uh, my job today, my real life job, we had <laughs> we had a fire drill. And we had to evacuate all 45 floors and like hundreds of people. That is not something that I would like to do on a regular basis. Just saying. Okay, Vasca, don't give me any problems, okay? Let's just tell me what you're gonna tell me, and then we can all move on. Greetings. Much has changed. Townsfolk have violated our swamp. Hmm. Who are these strangers? Dry ones. How dreadful. They drove off the lumberjacks and many were slain. They carry off our kin. The water lords are angry. Only the druids dare remain in the grove. Anything else while I was away? A great battle between a man with a fiery soul and an elven lord. Who won? Our lords were victorious. Praise be to them! May I ask a question? What? Okay. I heard you're having problems. Drowners again? Yes. But we have another problem. Speak, Veska. Bandits with salamander badges are forcing my kin to gather herbs. That's very interesting. They separate our kin into groups. Armed guards watch them. Where are they? I saw one group by the fallen tower. Please help them. I'll reward you. Their boss, Roland Blyneim, is an evil man. Kill him. I'll do just that. <laughs> Vasca, your wish is my command. Working in three places, the cave, the glade, and near the collapsed tower. That seems easy enough. She stores the weirdest things in her in her freaking wardrobe. I'm still searching for your missing kin. Please hurry. Their families miss them. Farewell. Oh, I'm not done. Tell me about this battle. The man with the fiery soul came with his steel-clad brothers. They angered the lords and dark waters engulfed them. The one who steps lightly through shadow and whose heart is consumed by hatred went to face them. They met in a terrible, savage battle, staining the waters red. Who won, you ask? The fire or the shadow? My answer is neither. Thanks. Any other questions? <laughs> Thanks. Let's just throw a round of dice poker here. Oh god, it's not worth my time. Okay. So, let's move out. We need to go to a couple places. Collapse Tower would be the first one. And, uh, we'll go from there. It's interesting because we just came from there but didn't see anything. You would think that, uh, we would probably run into them. Oh, actually... Damn, I should have checked this too. I wonder if she has a book about these things. It's worth a shot. What? Nope. Okay, good times. I'll see if I can't make it direct to the swamp without having to fight one of those Kikamore things. Even though I can handle them, it's just that... There's not really a huge benefit, I guess, to doing it, aside from, like, experience. And there's the- so there's the Kikamore workers, and the Kikamore warriors, right? And I only know about the warrior. The quest is probably the workers. Oh, it just says Kikamores. Okay. Whoa, we got an Echinops. This is, oh, we got two. This is kind of exciting. See, now I'm dishing out the heavy damage on these things. I 
I got a worker coming over. Hello. Okay. Oh, frick. They just keep coming. And none of the Econops dropped anything? Oh, here we go. Econops rootstock. There we go. God, no. No, no, no. Oh, too many monsters. I'm gonna take a little pass. It's another Echinops, but we don't really need to worry about it because uh, we already have enough for the gardener, so I'm gonna just stick with that and make sure that I'm not using them in my alchemy. You guys pointed out that there may have been a couple times where I was throwing things in there that I should have been saving for quests, so. Oh God. These guys, like, you don't want to mess with me. Mess with me and die. Oh, I er screw that one up. I love how the other guys are just standing there. Like, no, don't worry, I will I'll handle this for you. I guess what are they gonna do? Just in time. Return home. May you never suffer drought. What do you know about Salamandra? They forced us to gather herbs, make fistic. One group hides in the cave near the old logging area. Salamandra is involved in the drug trade? Thanks. Return home. Well, we kind of knew that. Ooh, had a nice little ring on him. Inventory's full now. Awesome. The Book of the Kiss. Excerpt from the Witcher's Secrets. This is, uh, we got this last time. Uh, so this actually does let us make insectoid oil. Very cool. Stanches any bleeding and raises resistance to it. Okay, cool. That is awesome. But now this is full and that's gonna drive some people crazy. This I know. So I'm gonna eat some of the things that I can get rid of. And we may drop a couple of things here if we can. I'll use this. And I'll use it on my steel sword. Well, my meteorite sword now. When I get a chance, I should probably make some more alchemy. Alright, so now we need to head out to the cave area, I believe they said. I must free the remaining groups. Druid's Grove. Oh, here's the cave way down here. Alright, let's go. Let's go to them. What I should have done is got trapped them all in here. Hit that lightning thing again. Probably kill myself in the process. Look at these things. Holy crap. No way. Altar of Melatella. It's too bad you can't harvest things while you're in uh, combat. Because there's times where I don't want to be in combat, and it kind of forces me, like right now.
And I just kind of think it's like, well, it's kind of disappointing. Okay, where the hell are these things? Oh, they're in the cave. Cannot go in while fighting. All right. Let's do this then. Good night, Mr. Dead. Okay, so we're gonna have another run-in with some bandits down here, I imagine. Here they are. What do I want to do? Stun. I could use my little trap here. I'll wait till my endurance regens a bit. Come on over! Oh, what? Whoa, that's a new trick. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's a new one. And I like it. What is this? A ruby. Frick yeah. Uh, let's get rid of this pear. Or let's just eat it, I guess. Okay, we're gonna have to get rid of some stuff. Or I can just... I could make some alchemy as well. That will definitely help. Shit, I'm so full. <laughs> I'm just trying to look for like little things that I could get rid of, but uh, everything's kind of valuable. I'll drop the sugar doll. I love how there's this one guy that didn't come. Eat it. We are saved at last. Now I came on my own. You're free. Hear that, everyone? We're going home. Before you go, tell me what you know about Salamandra. They held us at a camp. One group may be by the old logging area. Thank you. I believe that group is uh is north. So, let's head that way. I'll grab some of these suet mushrooms. The messenger of the lords lifts me from my knees and tears off my chains. This could Are be that missing boy. Yeah. child? I sat on foreign shores, crying and remembering my fatherland. So neither druids nor dryads kidnapped you. Blessed be he who wields a sword against my enemies. Okay. Hurry <laughs> on. Who is above the lords? Right. I'll be going. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so we found the boy. Which has kind of been bothering me for a while. I'm happy about it. And we should be able to go and liberate the last group here fairly quickly. Still have lots of the bindweed action. Yeah, so just north. Trunk. I'll take that. Oh, another ruby. We got a fireplace here, so I'm gonna actually stop after this thing, after this little engagement.
Let's try to grab all of their attentions. Come on, boys. Man, the combat's getting so much better. Like, I just remember when we first started, and it was like, okay. But now there's like... If you're not using, like, a mixture of your alchemy and your potions, your bombs, all that stuff... I, I mind you, I don't have bombs yet, but... I think this guy's been disarmed. Thanks be to the lords. You're free. We wish to reward you. What is Salamandra doing in the swamp? They're based at the former non-humans camp. Oh! You'd need an army to drive them out. Thanks, I'll remember that. Okay, so they're up at the druid area then? I'm thinking so. So we'll go back to Vasca then, and uh... Talk to her about a few things that are going on. Let me just clear out some of these plants. Ooh, you hear that? I did. Okay, so we're gonna do things a little differently. I've got some really good advice regarding the alchemy. So First things first, let's level up. I'm gonna go into strength because uh, I tend to run out of vitality Fairly quickly as you can see I'm gonna go right into that and then I'm thinking I might go into fast Silver or fast steel. We seem to be fighting a lot of humans. But, like, look at that. We're almost at a level 5, but we still haven't gotten a gold talent anyway, so... Shouldn't be in any real rush to get there. We could also... Raise his chance of knockdown. Stun. Or this cost of casting, minus 20%. That's a tough one. Maybe I should just go into strength here as well. Vitality plus two per character development level. Knockdown resistance. Damage. Damage. Armor. I'm gonna go strength four. That's gonna make a big difference in our vitality levels, I think. Stamina will probably be the next thing I do. Just get my uh, endurance bar up so I can cast things a little bit faster. But now we have two bronze to dish out. I don't care about some of these at all. Let's see here. I guess I already have these. We can do this because we do incinerate quite a bit. And I do use group. This is one thing I haven't really um, put any focus on, because I do actually use it quite a bit. Let's maybe use group steel. Damage plus 20. Knockdown plus 20. Knockdown plus 30. Let's just go right to that. Okay, so, let's get into this here. Um, Psycoil on YouTube gives me a lot of really good advice. Almost every episode, I really appreciate his opinion. I appreciate a lot of people's opinions, uh, and he is one of them. So, he's, he says this, like, you should really go with, like, Tawny Owl and Albedo, and then Swallow with Negrito, because you always want to do more damage when you're low on health, right? Because it gets you out of tough situations. Uh, he, he was saying, look at the fights where you use Tawny Owl with Rubido, and you'll notice how low on health you always were. Uh, with Albedo, the toxicity of Tawny should be low enough for perhaps two more potions. Pretty confusing, but... Uh, super, super important. So, I'm gonna make some Tawny Owl, and I'm going to do that with Albedo. 
uh, which is the... Which one? I think it's the white one. Yeah. Okay, so we need vitriol. We want to try to find one with albedo. We don't want to use the Econop Roops, Roops talks though. Uh, so we'll go here. And then we need Ether. This is perfect. Albedo. Albedo. So we're going to use a little daisy thing. Uh, white myrtle petals and Burbicane fruits. So. White myrtle petal petals. I just wish you could save templates of these things. No, I just... Don't you think that would make so much sense? And I'll make one more. Okay, now we're gonna go into Swallow, and he says, use Negrito because you always want to do more damage when you're low on health. And I think that does make sense. Uh, so let's go and find our Negrito. So that's the black ones we're looking for. So Crow's Eye, that's great. And then we need to go Rebus. We can use so Celandine times two. And then Ether. There we go. Okay. So here's our, here's our formula. Crow's Eye, Celandine times two, and Dead Drowned Tongue. Crow's Eye, Celandine, Dead Drowned Tongue. So let's just view them all here. Uh, Crow's Eye, Celandine, and dead drowned or drowned dead tongue is already there. Crow's eye, Celandine, drowned dead tongue. Crow's eye, Celandine, drowned dead tongue. I think that puts us in a good spot. Uh, I am gonna make some specter oil because why not? Uh, let's just make sure I'm not using anything that I would need. These are all good to go. They could just be random. I will also make some necrophage oil. Ghoul blood, drown dead, sure. And then... We got a couple new ones here. Increase the resistance to bleeding, not a big deal, I don't think. Maximum endurance is nice. Insectoid oil would be good. Wing membrane, drown dead, verbena, and venom glands. Might as well, because we can't hand those into anyone. Unless, you know what, I should be doing this. And people are gonna are gonna Um correct me. With these oils, I probably should uh, try to find the ones that don't have a secondary ingredient. If that makes sense. Because... I guess you should save those for potions. This is kind of what I'm trying to think of through my head here. Anyway, so there we go. We used up a whole bunch of those things. Um, we created a bunch of potions, so we didn't really gain a lot of space. But that's okay, because... Really, we just need to... Uh, have a lot of potions. <laughs> Super beneficial. I'm gonna make bindweed as well. That's huge. So with bindweed, if I'm getting resistance to the poison, I don't really need vitality. Uh, damage would probably be nice. So let's do that. Let's go with Negrito. So drown dead. Um, Cubrith. Cubrith. Which one's that? That's this one. There we go. Mandrake root. Sure thing. And venom glands, all good. So, I'll make a couple of these, because if I'm going to be in the swamp a lot, it's probably good to have. And look at this. 
Oh, this would decrease the effectiveness of Steel Swords. So if you know you're only going to be fighting uh, monsters, Argentina, or Ar Argentia, I should say, is going to be pretty strong. But anyways, so Drown Dead, Mandrake, and Venom. Drown Dead, let's do Mandrake and Venom. Okay, cleared up a couple more slots. We're good to go. Let's meditate until morning. And then when we come back, I'll leave I'll, I'll end the episode here. When we come back, we're going to go and see Vasca. There's a bunch of stuff we're going to have to talk to her about like the um Salamandra and their little lost boy that we found in the cave. So, uh it should be interesting. Thank you guys once again and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.